Hello, my name is Jason Smith and I'm the Outbound Product Manager for ITOM Visibility at ServiceNow. Today we're going to go through a quick demo and show application fingerprinting working with Discovery. Okay, so let's get this demo started. The first thing you want to do is go into the Discovery homepage and make sure that this tile is enabled. If it's not enabled, that's telling you that the Predictive Intelligence plugin needs to be enabled. You also want to make sure that this particular job, Application Suggestions for ITOM Discovery, is active. Scheduled by default is run once an hour. And then have a look at the Machine Learning Training Jobs view and make sure that the progress is 100%. You can drill into that if you like. And what we're really looking for here is to see that this timestamp has been updated and that the progress was 100%. You also get the cluster visualization. So let's take a look at the application fingerprints dashboard. So here are the top suggestions for application fingerprinting. We have uh, many different applications that are suggested, 180, and then we have six different application servers. So those are the ones that are most interesting for me in this case. These are probably applications that are listening on ports for communication. So I could choose from this view to ignore some of these suggestions and I can choose to drill in to an application suggestion. So I've got a couple of choices here. I could ignore. I can change the suggested group name, have a look at the process sampling here, and I can see that the commands are all exactly the same and they run on this port, and I can see it's postfix. Okay, good. So why don't I change the name here? And I can see this uh, classifier rule has been created for me. And then also there is a suggested scene to be class that will be created. So in this case, I just want to change that from master to post fix. So when I click on discover application, three things are going to happen. So number one, it's going to create a process classifier. It's going to create this uh, scene to be class. And it's also going to create a discovery pattern for me. So I've already done that for another application server. I've got my list of created applications here, and I can see one that's called Homegrown Java App. So I can look at the process classification. So this was created for me automatically. In this case, the regular expression was a little bit more complicated. This was also created for me automatically, and then this pattern uh, was created for me. So this record here with the horizontal discovery probe and also the pattern itself was created. So all you have to do now is to schedule a discovery. I've already done that. So here is the result of discovery on this one particular server. I can see that I have two instances of the homegrown Java app running on this server. That is as expected and I can choose to take a look at a particular homegrown Java app and I can see in this case that it definitely is still running on that server but it's also depending on a MySQL database residing on another Linux server. So not only was the application discovered and it was running on a Linux server, the application dependency map was also built out automatically. Application fingerprinting uses machine learning to analyze the data and provide us with suggested applications. And then it can also create the process classifications themselves, creates the discovery patterns, and also the additional CNDB classes. This really helps you get those homegrown applications and third-party applications that we don't have an out-of-the-box pattern for onboarded into your CNDB safely and quickly.